Hey you guys, it's Melanie here from Christian YA Books and more and today I am bringing you the Christian Girl book tag. I have created this new book tag that I really want to share with you guys. It's super fun and it totally focuses on the Bible for you guys so I'm really happy about that and it has scriptures to go with it so I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this and do it too. It would be super fun. So i am actually got my papers with me so that I don't get lost in this. So, number one, pick a book that inspired you in your walk with God or your faith in Jesus. So with that, I picked 1 Corinthians 10, 31. It's a New King James Version and it says, Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. And that includes reading. So... Pick a book that inspired you in your walk with God, in your faith with Jesus, or that just gives God glory in general. So with that, I picked um, Chasing Jupiter. This book reminded me of when I became a Christian and the struggles I faced as a teenager and, and how God used that to lead me to him in the end. So I picked this one by Rachel Cocker. It just really spoke to me and totally brought me back to the place where I... I gave my life to the Lord and why I did it. And I really like admired the fact that our main character in this, she had a godly person to go to and talk to about those things in her life. And that was evident that she made a difference in this girl's, the main character's life. And for me, it was really encouraging and it really brought me back. So I really thought that this fit the bill for that uh, question. So yeah. And then the next one is, Two, there's seven all together, so two, pick a book that shows an ultimate sacrifice for someone else. As this is like the most famous scripture, and it's for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever will um, believeth in him should not perish, but have ever everlasting life. So yeah, it's the ultimate sacrifice that God gave. Um, it also refers to him... Um, as a sacrifice in Hebrews 10 and 10:10 10, 10 and Ephesians 5:2 and we're too we should walk in this kind of love in this kind of sacrifice so laying our lives down for another and, and you know it's just really wonderful like that whole thing that God actually is our ultimate sacrifice so um, pick a book that shows an ultimate ultimate sacrifice for someone else and with that I chose a time to die. I cannot tell you why I chose this book because that would be a spoiler, but it did have an ultimate sacrifice in this book and it made me want to cry and it was so good and so I chose Nadine Brandy's A Time to Die. I seriously wish I could tell you guys, but it would seriously be a spoiler, so I'm not going to. Okay, three is pick a book with your favorite love story in it. Um, we know that God is love in 1 John 4, 8, so of course it wouldn't be anything Christian without love in it, and so I definitely want you guys to pick a book with your favorite love story in it. And for me, I chose The Healer's Apprentice. This is a very sweet love story and it's probably one of my favorite just because it reminds me of my uh, story with my husband. And so it is one of my favorites. And yeah, that's The Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson. For four, I want you guys to pick a book with an epic good versus evil battle in it. We know in Ephesians 6.12 for the King James Version that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we are battling as Christians like the spiritual warfare. There is definitely a good versus evil battle going on in our lives at all times. And so I want you guys to pick a book that reflects that um, with, the, with a really good verse, good versus evil battle in it. So for me, I chose Remnants by Lisa T. Bergeron. This not only is like, it really shows and reflects the spiritual battle, but also has that whole like battle against uh, rulers in high places and principalities. It really dives deep into that for allegorical reasons, but also just in general as a Christian and what we face, the spiritual battles that are connected to the physical. And yeah, this really reflect reflected that really well. Lisa T. Bergen did an amazing job at this. 
So that is the book I chose for that question. Then we have number five, and that's pick a book that has prayer or Bible reading in it as an essential or major element of the story. As a Christian, prayer is huge in our life, as well as reading our Bible, we should be doing it as a sword, it's just amazing, and prayer should be daily. Um, there's so many scriptures, scriptures on prayer, I didn't know which one to choose, so the first one I chose was 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, and that's the King James Version, and it says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, seizing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So I thought that was a perfect scripture to go with that question. So definitely this is the one that I was one of my favorites, and it's pick a book that has prayer or Bible reading in it as essential or major element of the story. I could have chose a lot of Melanie Dickerson's or any of these books for that matter, but I chose this one because of the prayer aspect. Now this isn't the book I actually chose, but he is the bestseller, of, uh, uh, like two million copies sold for the present day darkness, and his name is Frank Peretti, it's this cool dude right here, and his stories, um, not, I haven't read this one yet so I don't know about this one, but his stories, the ones that I have read, like are incredible, they show how prayer not just angels, but prayer to God in faith changes the supernatural, the spiritual uh, realm. And it's just, it's an unveiling of like the two worlds. And it was incredible how prayer is an essential part of our life and can literally move mountains. And it was super cool how he brought that out in those books. And that's why I chose Frank Preddy, this dude right here, the present day darkness and those books that were associated with that right on point through prayer, amazing. Number six is pick a book that personally challenged you or that has persecution of one's faith in it. As Christians, this is something we're going to face. There's tons of scriptures about that. I will name off a couple, but I'll just give you one scripture for sure. That's Matthew 5.10. In the King James Version, it says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. It, there's, it's in Luke 6.22 and 1 John 3.13, John 15.18, 2 Timothy 3.12. It's all over the place. It is part of our Christian walk, and so definitely it had to be one of my questions, and that was pick a book that personally challenged you in your faith or anything like that, or that has persecution for one's faith in it. So for that one, I chose uh, kind of two um, because it just fit the bill really well. And that was the last thing I remember by Andrew Clavin. He is persecuted for his faith and for being a Christian and he's definitely persecuted for this, like is majorly, major, major persecution. So I had to put this one in. But I was more thinking of Man Mandy Fender's Defire, The Girl Who Stood. This one is really good. She stood up for her faith, even though her family is persecuted. There's huge issues involved in that. It's sci-fi, it's really cool and definitely is one that I thought of as well. I really thought this was a good book about that. So those two are there. I also forgot to pull it out. Ah, uh, that's for the next one. <laughs> and so seven is, the last and final question is, pick a book where the main character is different from everyone else, or stands out, or separates himself apart. Sometimes being a Christian, you seem different, and there's definitely a sanctification that's involved in there, and uh, the scripture verse I found that would match this is Galatians 2.20, and this is, I have been crucified with Christ, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me, the life I, ha I now live in the body, the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, I can't read my own writing, people. <laughs> And then there's also 1 Peter uh, 2, 9, 1 Peter 1, 15 to 16, Colossians 3, 12, and Romans 12, 14. Tons of scriptures on that too. So pick a book where the main character is different from everyone else or stands out or separates themselves apart. And I chose Anomaly. She's definitely different. She's definitely separate. And she separated herself 
uh, for the glory and the end of everybody and so it was really really good I loved this story it was amazing Kristen McGee is an incredible author and yeah so this is definitely one that I chose for that tag so that's it you guys I will leave in the comments below the questions and the scripture verses for you guys I tag Tashopolis Lindsay at BFCG Coffee and Chapters Reese JC and anyone else who wants to do this tag. I tag you, I hope you have a great time, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see what you would pick. If you have some uh, comments of what you would pick, definitely write them in below. I want to build this community for Christian readers who write, and also, by the way, pick only fiction books. There are a ton of nonfiction books that you guys can probably pick with this, but I really want you guys to pick fictional characters, fictional books, because I want to build a community around fiction readers, and I really hope that you'll join in with us. Happy reading, everybody. Bye!